everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to do, would you believe, another tag. I was tagged by two people. I was tagged by Boon Ch Child, Boon Child, and I was tagged by Marnia, Keto Marnie, the Keto Crocheter, is how her title is, and it's Marna. Um, this tag actually was done by Keto for Deb a long time ago, and the people that were tagged in it, I took their names out because I'm going to do the same thing as I did the other day. I'm going to let the universe choose you, so I've got all the names in here. And um, I printed out the names so that I can cross them off if I, so I don't add you in another tag should I get another one. This way you won't get um, tagged too many times. But the people that were tagged in this one, I've taken out. The people that did the tag, I took out. And um, so we'll just begin the tag. You might as well, and Jim's going to read me the questions. So you might as well start, yeah. What time do you normally go to bed? Okay, I normally go to bed by quarter after nine. When I was working, I'd go to bed by nine or sooner. But now I'm not working, but Jim goes to bed around quarter after nine. And the first time in our marriage, now you're going to get a little peek into our marriage. <laughs> he just, he, <laughs> he knows he's shaking his head. He says, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. That's true. You're never going to know. I don't even know what I'm going to say half the time. But um, for years, you know how they say you should always go to bed at the same time. Well, for years we never did. Never did. Never. Never, never, never. I'd go to bed by, by 9 o'clock, and he'd always drift in around 11, 11.30. And um, I would get up and go to work, and he'd still be sleeping because his job started later, um, usually 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I had to be to work by quarter after 5 for many a year. And then later on, um, we got up about the same time. But he still would go to bed very late. So now that he goes to bed early, I go to bed early too, just because I think that's what a couples are supposed to do. So that's the answer to that question. I go to bed about 9.15. So what's the next one? Okay, if you could close one fast food chain, what would you pick? Okay, if I could close a fast food chain, I know a lot of you have chosen McDonald's. I won't choose McDonald's. I worked at McDonald's. But I will choose Wendy's. The only reason I'm choosing Wendy's, I've never eaten there. I haven't, I had been to Burger King probably, oh gosh, over 40 years ago I was at Burger King. And they had a fish sandwich that smelled fishy. I didn't like that. But I hear they have good other foods. So I don't know. I don't, I don't go through a fast food place. I have never been through a drive through so I don't, and I don't eat at fast food places now. When I worked at McDonald's, I got my food for free. So I did eat their um, nuggets, and I did eat their salads, but I could make my own salad, so I always knew what was in it. And I never had the dressings, so I was eating very healthy, actually. Okay, what's the next question? So it's okay. Wendy's. What part of your body could use a, a little lotion? I always say my back could use a little, actually a lot of lotion. My back itches all the time, it feels like. It's probably very dry skin back there. But you know, a good back massage would feel very good. <laughs> There's another tip into the, into the, into the world of Mary Gra oops, of, yeah, Nona Grace and Mary Grace too. Yeah, well, the both of us. Okay. Okay, when things break, do you oh. prefer to fix them or replace them? Well, we, we usually try to fix things, and unless we really need it and it won't get fixed, then we'd replace it. Otherwise, we just do without, but we will try to fix it before we ever dream of replacing it. There's got to be a way to fix it. And if not, oh well, we just throw it away and do without. Okay, the next one. Okay, if you had all the money in the world... What would be the first thing you'd buy? I wouldn't buy anything, but I would hire someone to take care of my house, do all the cleaning, all the cooking, and just keep it, make it pretty. I want a, I want a house that looks like a better homes and garden house. One that, 
when you walk into you go wow like when you walk into a camper when you first walk into campers did you you get that wow feeling because there's nothing in them they're empty they're clean and they're they have um maybe a little decoration here and there but your house never looks that way and i'd like somebody to do that to my house okay would you rather keep your current sleep schedule or hibernate for three months and have the other nine of 24 7 alertness without being tired no i would like to keep my my sleep schedule because I don't need to be awake 24-7 when everybody else is sleeping. What would you do in those hours? That's That would be... <clears throat> no, thank you. <clears throat> I'm getting hoarse answering your questions. <laughs> well, they're your questions. They're my questions that were given to me. Yes, okay. What's the next one? Have you ever cried at a movie and name it? Oh, I cry at a lot of movies, but I could never name the movies that I've cried at. It's like songs. You hear a song. I know I like a song. I know, but I don't can't tell you the artist. And the same thing with the movie. I maybe liked the movie, and when I start watching it, I go, oh, yeah, I like this movie. But I've cried at a lot of them. I I probably even cut, cried at The Wizard of Oz. I don't even know. I, I'm sure I, I Cinderella used to make me cry every now and then when I was younger. But... A lot of movies, a lot of Christmas movies will make you cry. A lot of Hallmark movies will make you cry. Just a lot of movies. Okay. Okay. Uh, Shirley is, Temple movies too made me cry. <laughs> is never returning something you borrowed considered stealing? I think if you borrow something, you should return it. Otherwise, you've intentionally forgotten that you borrowed it. And then it's stealing, definitely. Oh, yeah. I think if you intentionally. I, I, I think if you don't return something. And you know darn well it's not yours. Because you just know. You know what you buy and what you don't buy and what you borrow and what you don't borrow. So, yeah, give it back. Otherwise, it's considered stealing. Yeah. Would you rather have a clogged nose or a piece of green food always stuck in your teeth? I'd rather have the clogged nose. Have you ever gotten a piece of... How uh, like a just a piece of popcorn kernel in your teeth? How after a while it hurts? Well, the green thing would be there where people could see it. Plus, you never know it could cause you pain also. So I'd rather have the clogged nose. Yep. Okay. What is something you learned in the last week? I learned that my bookcases are almost done, and I'll show you a picture of it right here. Looking pretty good, aren't they? They're not in the house yet. They still have to be stained, so he'll be bringing them into the house so he can stain them in here because it's too cold outside. Polyurethane. Or, huh? Polyurethane. Polyurethane. Not stained. Yeah. So, sorry. It's going to be varnished. They're going to be shiny. The, and the wood that he used on it actually cost us nothing for this because the wood came from McDonald's when they were going to tear down their building. The old building had a lot of wood in it. And, um, my husband and my son went in there and they tore the wood out. I asked my boss what they were going to do with the wood and he said nothing. They were going to just bulldoze it under. And so I called Jim, asked him if I could have it and he said I could as long as I pulled it out quickly because they were going to bulldoze the next day. So Jim and my son Michael came down and they took the wood out. They took some mirrors out because I wanted a couple of their mirrors too. And um, then the when we bought this house there was this I don't know what it was called. It's like a Marlite, but it's not a Marlite. I don't know. They use it for in showers and bathrooms. And so there were sheets of that here. So he used that to make the shelves. But the Actually, the shelves were stuff with, I bought for our, one of our first vans to oh, to side. It wasn't the for the house? The wasn't that striped stuff? No. No. Nope. Okay, because there was some of that. So this is for the van. When we bought our va our first van, we bought a, a brand new van, but an unfinished inside. So that meant you had to put insulation in, and you had to make the insulation covered. And so he he did that. That's how you save money, and you still have a nice vehicle. So that's what we did, and we drove that for a good 16 years. It was over for a long time. And then we sold it for a pretty good 
for for being so old we sold it for a pretty good price mm -hmm. and it was still running and the reason the guy bought the van was uh, the newer vans don't have that extra lip i guess he had a carrier he wanted to con clamp to the top of the roof because he was did construction or something and the new vans don't have that little bar thing or uh, the seam rain, rain gutter rain gutters and so he bought it because it had the rain gutters on it and it was still in very good shape. Oh, I'm getting very, very warm. <laughs> it's not warm outside, but I'm getting warm. So I think this, this video is going to come to an end because I'm really just rambling on. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to this tag. And thank you to Voon Child and um, to Marnia, Marna. It's Marnie, is her, or Keto Marnie is her name, but I call her Marna because I think that's her real name, I think. But anyways, Keto Marnie, the Keto Crocheter, thank you so much. And Deb, Keto for Deb, that did this the very first time, thank you for doing it because the ladies, they apparently thought it was a great tag. And they did it, and then they're tagging me. Now, I've got to tag somebody. Whoa, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to tag three people. You're in the the bucket of what they call um the bucket of names. Bucket of names. Bucket of names. But the the universe. The universe is gonna choose you. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> we'll shake you up, and I will take a name out. There's one. Two. I gotta get three. I almost peaked. I almost peaked. Almost, but I didn't. I don't know who it is. Okay, let's see who got chosen. Little Jordan Farms. That's Tammy. You're chosen. Who else? Um, Aretha from Seattle Sapphire. You're chosen. Hey, Aretha, you know what? I made your chicken thing today, sort of. I made it different, though. I didn't put any sauce on it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like sauce with chicken because I don't like chicken cacciatore. <laughs> and that's got sauce, I believe. But it made like it a pizza. It was very, very good, though. It was very good. And Dolores from Baking Diva. You've been chosen. So it's Baking Diva, Little Jordan Farms, and Seattle Sapphire. You've been chosen to do this tag. And anybody else that wants to do the tag... Feel free to do it. They're kind of fun. If you don't have a video for the day, this is the perfect way to do a video. It gives you something to talk about and something to think about. So I'll talk to you all you again. You going to link the questions? Yeah, I'll put the questions down below. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I might not put these names down below, but I, you got to watch the video to find them. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll put the questions down below. And so we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.